Welcome back to another Andrew Says, and thank you for navigating the abomination that is the YouTube algorithm in order to find me. We are fighting that every single day. Trump, with varying degrees of seriousness, has repeatedly expressed interest in buying Greenland from Denmark, as reports the Wall Street Journal. He's asked his White House counsel to actually look into it for him. So let's read the report a little bit, shall we? A decades-old defense treaty between Denmark and the U.S. gives the U.S. military virtually unlimited rights in Greenland at America's northernmost base, Thule Airport Base. Maybe it's Thule, I don't know. Located 750 miles north of the Arctic Circle, includes a radar station that is part of a U.S. ballistic missile early warning system. The base is also used by U.S. Air Force Space Command and the North American Aerospace Defense Command. U.S. has sought to disrail, derail Chinese efforts to gain an economic foothold in Greenland. The Pentagon worked successfully in 2018 to block China from financing three airports on the island. So obviously, some of the reasons they want to get it would be natural resources. I've always put my finger too low here. Natural resources, uh, missile defense, and military defense. It's got a relatively low operating cost. I'm reading here that it relies on $591 million of subsidies from Denmark annually, which makes up about 60% of its annual budget. So it's relatively low cost, a billion dollars, to operate uh, Greenland for an entire year. That's just a, the tiniest drops in the bucket for the United States, they would no doubt, under President Trump, skyrocket that budget, I would think, probably around five times at least, well, with putting more military installations on it. Last spring, someone told Trump at a roundtable in Denmark, or sorry, last spring someone told Trump at a roundtable that Denmark was having financial trouble over its assistance to Greenland and suggested that he should consider buying the island. What do you guys think about that, he asked the room, the person said. Do you guys think it would work? So if you didn't know, the State Department has actually tried to buy Greenland twice throughout history. They tried to buy it along with Iceland in 1867, as well as one time in 1946 for $100 million. Now, would this be completely outlandish for the United States to buy Greenland? Uh, I don't know. It's been a long time since they've bought a, a large mass of land, but they have done it, of course. And a little history lesson, if you're unaware, because some people are unaware of some of these facts, the Louisiana Purchase was in 1803, where in Paris they agreed to pay $15 million for 828,000 square miles. Now, if you look at this photo, you'll notice that the Louisiana Purchase is not quite just Louisiana. It's actually a gigantic swath of the United States, and it's essentially a third. So for $15 million, France gave up a whole heck of a lot of control of the United States. There wouldn't be a United States uh, if France still controlled this. Of course, the Alaska Purchase was in March of 1867, some 64 years later. Secretary of State William H. Seward agreed to buy Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million. He paid for this by check, actually. And, and here's this fabulous-looking check. The $7.2 million is the equivalent of $108 million in 2018. That would be, still be a hell of a purchase, hell of a discount in 2018, $108 million. Now, Russia has always, segue to Russia, by the way, has always been trying to get more of a foothold in the Arctic. Now, if you're old enough to remember, like me, I'm only 21, though. In 2007, Russia planted a flag on the Arctic seabed, and the New York Times called it a an openly choreographed publicity stunt. They were attempting to claim land that was very rich in oil, which is actually owned by Canada. My people. That's my quarterback. Hopefully you get that reference. So there's a lot of reasons to buy Greenland for the United States. Like I mentioned, there's oil, there's other natural resources, if I'm not mistaken. There's military advantages. It probably opens up trade routes. They already have a military base there, and as I mentioned from the article, they're given complete autonomy in operating there. So if Denmark is actually struggling financially, then they might just do it. Trump is crazy enough to do it, even though the article does mention that they don't, the person who's their source, we're hoping is a real person, or else where do you just come up with this story, saying that they don't think Trump is that serious, and it's sort of like, what if I just bought an island, everybody, from another country, and you know, kiss my ass, everybody else in the world. But I don't think it's too far-fetched. It's close by. What do they need it for? Does Denmark make any actual money off it? Apparently not. They're bleeding money from it. And a billion dollars to a small Nordic country is a lot more than a billion dollars to the United States. 
Hey, if you like what I do, please consider donating to me just $1 a month on Patreon or go to notfaketv.com and sign up there. The links are both in the description. Not hard to do. Just do it.